Hi guys, today I want to introduce you to my new friend, the LG Robo King Automatic Vacuum Cleaner. This little guy will vacuum for you so you don't have to do it, which is always good. Uh, my husband thought it was a great idea because he didn't want to vacuum anymore. Not that he did that much anyway, but he thinks it's wonderful pressing the remote um, and making this vacuum vacuum for him. So what we do is we have this set for a 10 o'clock in the morning reserve time and what that does is obviously each morning at 10 o'clock it sets itself to go on its little journey around my home um i don't find it gets around my entire house though before the battery runs out um so i think that's something that the lg could improve on um, nevertheless, it's still a, a good little good little gadget. It gets most of my lounge room, which is the bulk of the carpet areas. Um, it does head into my kids' rooms, and if they leave something on the floor, well, unfortunately, he tries to chew it up, um, and then we get the error message. So we'll go ahead, and I'll manually start him, her, it, um, and yeah, show you guys. So there are three different settings. There's um, cell by cell mode, which is like a big square that it does. Then, uh, then there's a zigzag mode, which I've never actually used. So <laughs> obviously it just does it in zigzags. And then the spiral spot mode. That's not, not too bad. It's, it's pretty funky. It makes like crop circles on your carpet. Um, but <laughs> but I, don't, I don't, I'm not overly fussed with that particular one. We'll press. Zigzag mode. Okay, so if I press start now, it'll go into a zigzag mode. I'm not going to do that um, because I want to go into a different mode. Cell by cell mode. That's the one that I'm going to start on. Zigzag mode. Oh, okay, so it's not giving me spiral spot mode. Cell by cell mode. Okay, so we'll go cell by cell mode. Um, this is the remote too. So it's got on it um, the start button and home so when the battery is running low it'll find its home itself most of the time um, this mode button is the one I was just pressing to change the modes on it uh, turbo I've never actually pressed that and I'm surprised my husband hasn't either because yeah if anything can go faster he's going to be there with it um, and then these here you can direction the vacuum yourself. So if you want it to, um, like if you want to drive it to a room to do, then you just use these. If you pick it up, I find if you pick it up and put it somewhere else, it's when the battery is low, it's, it's going to have less chance of finding its home. Um, yeah, so I don't pick it up very often. Um, my space i believe is when it it learns a certain area like my lounge room uh, it would learn where my lounge is where my dog on his beanbag is his beanbag is always there um and then you can set the schedule set the clock mute i guess you don't have to hear her but if you didn't hear her messages you wouldn't know what it's doing um unless you know by the screen you can see the screen um what it would be doing so the battery part is flashing so i guess it's charging although it only drove itself out and around like one or two lines but it's already charging again okay fair enough all right now with the actual vacuum itself so you've got this button here they're all like push buttons like um, touch touch screen on here um, but this here if you <laughs> if you press that this is the internals of it and you've got like these help phone numbers as well so this is where all the all the rubbish goes you can lift that out um, and I've left this for a day so I can show you in this video um, so it comes through here and then sends it into this little trap here and then I will show a video on that shortly on how to clean that but we'll leave it for now so we'll put it back in 
Okay, now we'll start it on the cell by cell. Zigzag mode. Cell by cell mode. Cell by cell mode. Now Please it's gonna empty the dust bin after completed. <laughs> it says that every time. Now it's gonna start like learning the area. I think it does that every time. It's got like these um, fan things, well not fan things, but yeah, these pick up like dust and stuff on the side. <laughs> it's not supposed to eat the beanbag. <laughs> it scares my dog. He um, it comes up to him and he he runs away. I I have found though, like they say that it it won't um like it it finds if there's something in its way, but I have seen a couple of times it's actually okay. So I didn't go right to the corner there. That it actually has come right up to me and it. It starts climbing on me, and yeah, it, so, so I guess that's why my dog moved because it must have hurt him. What are you doing? I'm not sure what it, it thought just then that there was something in its way, and I'm not sure why because there is actually nothing there. I do, I do think programming um, needs a little bit more attention on this particular vacuum. I've never been 100% happy with it. I like I love it. I think it's I think it's a great tool because it vacuums for me. And yeah, that's it's always good when someone or something else does your housework. But yeah, there are there are little gaps that could be filled, I think. Now I don't want it to go in here, so if I stand in the way, it should recognize. done a square so it's done all around in a square so it picks up most of the dog hair um, mind you my dog leaves lots of hair everywhere I find as well that I have to clean it um, I don't clean it every time it's used probably every third time um, like actually clean the filter and stuff but emptying it is definitely every every time it's used that's for sure so you can see there's still a few little bits like it's actually run over this and there's like that massive dog hair and there's that bit there as well um, I also use my Dyson twice a week in here as well because I just I don't like that it doesn't pick up all the hair but other than that it's pretty good I'm relatively happy with it uh, it could be a little bit cheaper too it was quite expensive um, but I think they're still quite new I guess um, as time goes by other companies will make them and it'll bring the price on this one down. I, I don't know that I've seen any others. I think this is the only one I've seen. I've seen the, the sweepers um, and they, they're just horrendous. They're awful. I bought one of those a couple of years back uh, for $20 off the internet and it, <laughs> it didn't do anything. It barely even pushed the, the dust around. So there we go, I'll send him back home. Actually, you know what, well, yeah, we'll press that. Okay, so I'm gonna drive it. Okay, so that's turning it. Okay. There we go. Now we'll go forward a little bit. Up to, I reckon about here. And I'll show you the spiral spot mode if it will do that. 
spiral spot mode. There we go. And stop. Oh, that will stop. Spiral spot mode. Please empty the dustbin after completed. So it just basically makes like big circles. Oh. And the um the remote turns my TV on as well. Which is always great. So you can see as it runs over my dog's fabulous hair, it does pick up some of it, but it would probably need to be, I need to go over it two or three times to really collect it all. And it also depends on um, how long since the brushes have been cleaned and all the hair taken off as well. I'm not sure what it's going to do now. Oh, okay. Now, yeah, it's going back over its track again. So it's that's the size of it, which is probably one and a half meters in diameter um, before it starts going back over itself. Well, it picked up one little bit that I was hoping it would, so I could show you. I'm going to send it home now. Oh, let's press turbo. Turbo button. Turbo function has been set. Turbo function has been set. Okay, so it's just a little bit faster. <laughs> it's it's no better in picking up the hair, but I think we just wanted to go faster. We did more, more efficient. It's finished. <laughs> Cleaning completed. Well done. <laughs> okay, so let's send it home. Searching for the home station. It does have trouble finding its home um, some of the time. Of course that would happen. <laughs> that never happened. It very rarely happened. There you go. So I I think you will be impressed with this little guy. Um, <laughs> it's made me a crop circle in the middle of my lounge room. And it has picked up, you know, a fair amount of my dog's hair. And it found its way home. So it's charging again now. So it automatically starts charging as soon as it goes home. And I'll just show you. So it's got like these little two prong bits there. Oh, okay. So if you take it off, it's it's home. It's charging station. Charging begins. <laughs> it just goes back onto it again. My son does that. He plays with it all the time. Thinks it's hilarious. All right. So now I'm going to turn it over. Okay. So here are the brushes. No, they're not the brushes. These are these fancy things that that spin the dirt around. So you can see a bit of dirt in there. These are the brushes here, so you can see I've left this as well so I can show the video. Um, so they need to be cleaned out, uh, this needs to be cleaned out quite regularly. And what I do, like you can take it out, obviously, so you just push in the end, see it just pushes in, and then you can take it out. Um, and what I do is I just cut along in each, in between each of the um, rows of brushes just cut it with scissors and then it all just easily pulls off um, but I'll show you that in a different video anyway and then putting it back on 
this color coordinator so you've got your letter, yellow end there and there and it's square so you just kind of line it up and push it in down that end there we go and then when closing it just keep these little guys out press it and press it and that's it easy and if for some reason it tries to climb on something while it's doing its little um, vacuum it will um, the wheel if the wheel pushes in it will say um, the wheels are not touching the floor actually I'll, I'll try it put it back if we go I'll just press start cell by cell mode please empty the dust bin after completing it so I'll put it both wheels are not touching the floor please move row backing onto flat floor okay so once you've put it back on the floor then you can press start again so searching for the home station I just put it on oh where are you going home home is there charging begins there we go and it's got its little little black charging station and the remote just sits on top just like that so that's it pretty fancy um i do recommend it but you do need to do intermittent vacuuming yourself as well okay thanks for watching um i hope you enjoyed this i hope this has given you an idea of whether or not it's something that you would want to buy it's it's quite a large outlay um but i think i'll give it a eight and a half to nine out of ten it's good it's nice to not have to vacuum um myself every day now but still, as I said, still needs to be done. So like and subscribe and give me a thumb, thumbs up. And yeah, I'll put up another video soon um, of when I clean it out. And you can watch that one also. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye.